Now, uh, let's continue our Creative Arts Awards presented by City National Bank with a Tony for Best Costume Design of a Play. The nominees are Jane Greenwood, Long Day's Journey in Tonight. Michael Crass, Noise is Off. Clint Ramos, Eclipsed. Tom Scott, King Charles III. And the Tony Award for Best Costume Design of a Play goes to Clint Ramos, Eclipsed. <laughs> Um, oh my gosh. Um, um, my mother is here from the Philippines, y'all. She's right there. Th that, that's the woman to blame. Um, I just want to say thank you uh, to everybody, um, uh, to a group of women who are unbelievable. Liesl Tommy and Denai Guerrera. The cast of these beautiful African women, Sekon Sengbla, Lupita Nyong'o, Akuzu Abusia, Zainab Jha, and Pascal Armand, thank you so much for wearing those hor horrible t-shirts. Um, uh, the the theater has been my savior in the darkest, darkest of times in my life, and I hope um, that the people of Orlando um, can see some salvation through this really dark time. So thank you so much. Next up, best costume design of a musical. The nominees are Greg Barnes, Tuck Everlasting. Jeff Mashi, She Loves Me. Ann Roth, Shuffle Along. Paul Taswell Hamilton. And the Tony Award for Best Costume Design. <laughs> I'll say that again. And the Tony Award for Best Costume Design of a Musical goes to Paul Taswell for him. Oh my God, thank you so much uh, to the American Theater Wing. Thank you to Lynn manuel Miranda for writing this amazing piece of, of art. Uh, thank you to, for, to Tommy Kale for inviting me into the room, pulling out the chair, letting me sit down, and do what I do best. Thank you to the cast. Thank you to my design collaborators. Thank you to Jeffrey Seller, um, to all of the producers, and thank you to my mother who taught me how to sew, <laughs> Emma, my other mother, and my beautiful partner in life, Michael, who is always a creative inspiration. Thank you so much. And now the award for best scenic design of a play. The nominees are Beowulf Borat for Therese Raquin, Christopher Oram for Huey, Jan Versvevelt, Arthur Miller's A View from the Bridge, David Zinn, The Humans, and the Tony for best scenic design of a play goes to David Zinn, The Humans. Uh, oh, 
Jesus, I'm so nervous. Um, I'm also banking on accessories, so I hope that that's a, a trend we can get behind. Um, I'm so honored to be in this room with all of you. Uh, Stephen, thank you for this play. I'm such a terrible speaker, I'm so sorry. Um, Joe Mantello, I'm so glad that you were like, oh, I wonder who should design a really depressing apartment and thought of me. Um, <laughs> Uh, to Justin, Sarah Lux, and Fitz, who made it look and sound so real, to Tim McMath, and Josh, and Proof, and Showman, and everybody at the Roundabout, and the amazing uh, Scott Rudin. Um, we were thanking teachers. I'm also chewing my gum. I'm just doing everything wrong. Um, I, uh, we were thanking teachers, and I want to thank um, mine, uh, the amazing Susie Glass Burdick. <clears throat> Excuse me. When I was a teenager on Bainbridge Island, Susie gave me my first real taste of how wonderful a life in the theater might be. And she believed that I might be able to have a place in this world, this world. Uh, I'm here, I'm so grateful. Thank you very, very, very much. And now the award for best scenic design of a musical. The nominees are Ez Devlin, Finn Ross, American Psycho. David Corrins, Hamilton. Santa Laquasto, Shuffle Along. And David Rockwell, She Loves Me. And the Tony for Best Scenic Design of a Musical goes to David Rockwell, She Loves Me. She loves me, and to my amazement, I love it. She loves me, she loves me, true she doesn't show it. How could she, when she doesn't know it? Yesterday she loathed me, but now today she likes me, and tomorrow. Thank you so much. I'm gonna try and keep it together. She Loves Me is such a brilliant celebration of the human need to love and to be loved. And I will tell you, it has been a joyful love fest for our She Loves Me family. I love them and thank them all. Our dream cast, Don Holder, Jeff Mashey, TJ and Dick, and especially our extraordinary director, Scott Ellis, for inspiring me to look at this beautiful show through fresh eyes. Todd and Sydney and everyone at Roundabout, you are the best, and I'm honored to be a part of your family. And the most wondrous part has been the chance to work side by side with Sheldon Harnick, Broadway legend. You are brilliantly talented, but you're also a great gentleman and you radiate love and kindness. Marsha, Sam, and Lola, I love you. Thank you. We're back with the award for best lighting design of a play. The nominees are Natasha Cass, Katz, Long Day's Journey in Tonight, Justin Townsend, The Humans, Jan Versvegel, Arthur Miller's The Crucible, Jan Versvegel, Arthur Miller's A View from the Bridge. And the Tony for Best Lighting Design of a Play goes to Natasha Katz, Long Day's Journey in Tonight. Um, yeah, I grew up uh, two blocks away from uh, this theater when I was a kid, and I used to come here all the time, and um, I can't believe I'm holding a Tony Award at the Beacon Theater. So thank you. Um, I, I love working on Broadway. I love this community. I love collaboration, and I love what the theater can uh, bring to the audiences. Um, and I believe that the arts uh, can change the world for the good. So um, thank you for this. Thank you to the Roundabout, Todd Ames, um, Sydney Beers, Denise Cooper, uh, the incredible crew at the American Airlines Theater, um, Brian Mori, our electrician, and Aaron Spivey, my associate, um, uh, Kevin Wilson, 
uh, Aurora Productions, Darren Deverna, and Long Day's Journey in Tonight is a lighting designer's dream, and we have a dream director, Jonathan Kent, an incredible cast and designers. They inspired me every day. And to my beautiful children, Gemma and Milo, thank you all very much. Next up, best lighting design of a musical. The nominees are Howell Binkley, Hamilton, <laughs> Jules Fisher and Peggy Eisenhower, Shuffle Along, or The Making of the Musical Sensation in 1928 and All That Followed, <sighs> Ben Stanton, Spring Awakening, <laughs> and Justin Townsend, American Psycho. And the Tony Award for Best Lighting Design of a Musical goes to Howell Binkley, Hamilton. Well, thank you, thank you. First of all, I'd like to thank Lynn for giving us Hamilton. And I'd also like to thank our incredible director, Tommy Kale, who was our visionary and really navigated us through this whole journey. And I'd really like to thank my team, Ryan, Amanda, David, Jimmy, and also Darren Deverna at PRG. And mainly, I'd like to thank the cast, crew, and staff at the Richard Rogers Theater who make this show happen eight times a week, which is incredible. It's been an honor and a privilege to be in the room where it happened. Thank you. God, this is so fun. <laughs> Congratulations to all of the winners so far. Thanks again to City National Bank for preserving the Creative Arts Awards. We've got a lot more awards to present throughout the night, so we will be back. We'll be on the air in just a few minutes. Tony winner James Corden is up next to host the broadcast. Plus, but there, are, there are some special guests and surprises that you didn't see if you were here for dress rehearsal today. So we are all in for a very big night. We'll see you soon. Bye.